Welcome to Long Time No Play, The Ninja, for the Sega Master System. This is Ron Moore, and this is a game I played alongside Kung Fu Kid, back when I was a kid. Just kidding. Ah, failed pun. Failed. Most failed pun I ever made. Anyway, so the storyline right here, I don't feel like reading. I can't pronounce some of the words in this story right here, so... Basically, I think a woman got kidnapped and you gotta go save her. You know, the old school video game storyline of damsel in distress, and now you gotta go save her. So, yeah, the ninja for the Sega Master System. Very challenging game. When I was a kid, it was so hard. I did beat the game, but you have to collect some secret scrolls or something. And I was very pissed off. Because I beat the game, I beat the final freaking boss. And it says, oh, you didn't collect all the scrolls, you didn't start over, or something like that. It pissed me off. I'm like, it's BS, you gotta be kidding me. So, I doubt I'm gonna beat the game in this video. It's just to play a little bit, get a nostalgia feel to it, and... Yeah, so let's see how far I get. One hit and you're dead. This game is one hit kills. Yeah, see the ninjas, they hide in the rocks. Yeah, I play this game... Uh, a lot when I was a kid and uh, I mean it's really been a long time though so I'm kind of surprised I remember some of the stuff here well honestly I mean as most of you know my, I'm not playing this <laughs> live right now I'm actually you know this is a uh, pre-recorded footage so I did play a little bit before I actually hit record Maybe we should stop doing that to get more of an authentic feel of the long time no play and let's check out videos. But anyway. Alright. And yeah, this guy right here, that that's it. That's the boss battle. And you pretty much fight him in all the levels, maybe set the final boss, which I don't remember what the final boss looked like. And yeah, I don't know, he's some guy stalking you in every level. And this song continues to play, the title screen music, when you get the shurikens, it makes you feel heroic, heroic, I guess. And wow, surprisingly I haven't died yet, I'm doing pretty good for someone who hasn't played this game in a while, and I guess we're playing Ocarina of Time for the sake of Master System here as I'm, as I'm going up Death Mountain. Oh, this level rocks. Easy to here we go again, the boss again, throwing his, uh, whatever the heck that is. I don't know what the heck that that guy is. He's a boss. He's pretty easy, but it depends on what level you fought him in, I guess. He, he does get a little bit more challenging in each level, but not really. Okay, this is level three. It looks like level one, and a bunch of pit bulls come after you, and ninjas, and ninjas throwing supposedly boomerangs at you. Catchy uh, music right there. Oh, I got extra life. What was that? Is that a boomerang? That's weird. A boomerang. I mean, a boomerang's supposed to, you know, see, it just goes straight. It's supposed to come back to the person that threw it. But anyway. And boomerang goes to dynamite. Oh, wow, that's, that's fail. I think I got a green scroll earlier that made me go faster too. Here's the boss again. This time he uses a big shuriken. And you can't shoot through it, so you gotta watch out. Game looks very, very simple, but I mean when I first played it, maybe you're playing it for the very first time, it will pwn you. And so I did master it when I was a kid except for the collecting the secret scroll. So I, to this day, I don't know if I've seen the ending to this game. I don't think I have. I need to look it up on YouTube just to see the ending. I've never I mean, I have beaten this game legit, but again, I haven't because, you know, the secret scroll thing. But I did get through all the enemies and stuff, and then gave me that BS false ending. I'm surprised I haven't died yet. Doing pretty good. <laughs> I mean... Right, there we go. Yeah, see that that right there got me when I first played this game. Man, this one, this one's bunk. I can't look. I can't shoot down, left, right, or whatever. I gotta do that, and that's that's stupid. Here's this idiot again. Right, so stage four now, or four or five, or whatever. Oh, now this is where it gets challenging. 
Now, I hit, I hit the uh, A and B or the 1 and 2 buttons of this Master System, not, not NES. Hit the 1 and 2 buttons here. And. Yeah, it may uh, disappear for a second, and you have to do that so you don't get hit by the shurikens, because you can't really dodge them when you're on a log. Like, you can't swim. Oh, oh this is. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, I better log off. Look out, no! Oh. Oh, shoot, where's the boss at? Oh, look out! Oh, that was close. Yeah, the boss is a real douche right here. Oh, look out, no, no, no. Oh, no, oh. Oh, no, this, no, this ain't fair, no! Ah! I got pwned. That was messed up. Oh, here we go. Now the epic music is gone. Just have the regular knobs again. Oh, cool. Starts me back at the boss battle again. Alright, that's cool. Stay down here now. Ah, oh, what? I didn't know throw it that far. Jeez. Fail. Alright. Alright. Come on. Don't just sit there like a bump on a log. Get to it. Ah. Uh, what is he wearing? A life jacket? Hey, dork, what's with the life preserver? Come on. At least this boss battle is much better when you're fighting on a. Um, you know, fighting on logs here and trying to. Ah, oh, now, come on. What? He landed in the water, but he didn't. He looks like he landed on the ground. But anyway, I was going to say. You know, this reminds me of the Tom Sawyer boss battle with the Adventures of Tom Sawyer for the NES. So if you're on a raft, you find you on an alligator, but that was a joke of a boss battle. This one right here is actually pretty suspenseful. This is where the boss is actually challenging because he finally smartened up and said, well, let me try to fight him on a different platform here. Mm, see, he shoots a shuriken and that freaking dumbbell at you at the same time. That can get you. But, haha, <laughs> I pwned him right there. All right. Probably not gonna get much farther than this because this is this is part of the game where things really get hard. The ECW. See, like there, that that got me when I was a kid. That surprise attack. Yeah. See, so I I've seen all this coming, so I remember some of this stuff. Yeah, I feel like I'm on a Legend of Zelda overhead map now. There's that little water right there, and then you see a little bridge. Whoa. Oh, there we go. You're supposed to go in what, like one of these areas right here, and like, kind of... <laughs> I hate to say it, but it reminds me of Little Red Hood for the NES. Where you gotta go like... You gotta do random things in order to make uh, the staircase open up, and then go down to the next level or whatever. I think I go to certain parts of the level. I don't know if it's in this level or some other level, and find the secret scrolls to make them appear out of nowhere. That's BS. That's not. Uh, that's not a good challenge. That's just more cryptic BS. It's like Simon's Quest had. Now I love Simon's Quest, but it did have its cryptic BS. Just like uh, what else? Uh, Hide Lied, whatever that game was that ABGM reviewed. So much cryptic. BS, it's just ridiculous, and this game kind of has that too with those stupid scrolls. Okay, let me get these shurikens again. Yes. Ah, damn! I forgot they can shoot over the water. Duh. Dang, that's game over. Oh well, good first run for the first time in 20 years. Yeah, the Ninja Gaiden. No, um, the Ninja for the NES. Yeah, I remember when I first played this game when I was a kid. And I was like, man, one hit kills. This might have been the first game I played where you get hit with one. I mean, you die with one hit. And I know in Mario Brothers you did too if you're already little. But you know, if you got the mushroom, you know, you're big, and then you get hit again, then you die after that. But and of course, it was Contra back then. I did play Contra back then at the time as one hit kills. But with this one, it was uh, to me. At first, uh, this game was very hard, and it was much more challenging than Contra. Uh, in certain ways, I mean, 
you know, when you first play the game, you don't know the rock, uh, you know, jumps at, jumps up or stands up as a ninja, and uh, the other ninja enemies that jump out of those little houses and you know kill you, and then that water level and yeah, and it is more. Uh, I would show you most of the game, but it's just a quick, long time no play. I really don't feel like uh, trying to get through this game, honestly. Just, uh, but yeah, of course you can check it out on YouTube. You know, just go online, look it up, and see the rest of the game. Uh, and yes, it does get harder. And not a bad game. It do, it does take me back a little bit, but the whole secret scrolls thing is a bunch of BS. But not that bad of a game. Um, and I guess for nostalgia purposes to me, I'm about to give it maybe a 6.5 out of 10. I definitely um, was very interested in the game when I was a kid. But at the same time, I guess it kind of didn't age well. Kind of like Rocky for the Sega Master System didn't age well. Uh, Pro Wrestling for the Master System did not age well. But it, it's still kind of fun to go back and play them again. The Ninja, not too bad of a game. And so, yeah, I guess go ahead and check it out for yourself and see what you think. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.